bronchoscopy is the study of uh, the airways. For us people in pulmonary medicine, it really has both a therapeutic use and a diagnostic use. On a diagnostic basis, people might come into the hospital or a single patient come in who was found to have a growth in his lung that needed a biopsy. And what this would entail is a trip to the outpatient area and you would start an IV, an intravenous fluid way to give medications. We do sedate or what is called conscious sedation for bronchoscopy, similar as, as getting a colon or a stomach looked at. Then put oxygen on and a heart monitor, try to make it as safe as we can. Then once the patient is asleep, the very small tube is passed through the nose and the nose is treated first with a jelly that'll anesthetize or numb it, if you will, as well as the throat, trying to block the cough. The nose acts really as a guide for the tube. We go down and examine the upper airway first, the vocal cords and the area alongside, and then pass through the vocal cords into the main airways. We can see about one-third of the major airways distance-wise, and then the airways become too small for the scope to go any further. But in a situation of someone with a growth in their lung, we can use a fluoroscope that is an x-ray machine to actually look at where we want to go and then pass a small forceps or biopsy wire, if you will, out into the lesion and take small pieces. So it's a pretty safe procedure with that. The other use, the therapeutic use, is more in the critical care situation in the intensive care units when people have pneumonia or uh, secretions or have aspirated a foreign object like a piece of corn or a tooth where you can take this light and actually go in and there's equipment made to snare it out or to bite it out and get the object out of the lung. So it really has several uses. In itself, the good thing is the lung has no nerves for pain. So we can biopsy ad lib and you'll, the patient will never feel it. The only pain he might have is if we were to scratch the throat on the way down or, or hurt the nose if the fellow had a real tight nose from a lot of allergies through the years and it was difficult to get through. So it's a very, very painless procedure.